Hello everyone, it's Eva with Polished After 60. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys some of the items that I was able to purchase um, in the Talbot's uh, end of season sale. Okay, so I was going to do something else, but I started getting all these packages in the mail and I thought, well, let me go ahead and share them with you guys, all right? So hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Hi. All right, you know, you guys know I can't do this. Bye. All right, guys, I am back. So as I mentioned, I was going to do an Amazon haul and try on for you guys. I have been um, purchasing some different things um, in the past few days as if I need any more items, right? But um, I did buy quite a few things from Talbots at fantastic prices. They were having a 70% off end of season sale. And so um, I went through and found a variety of things that I purchased for what I believe are good prices. All right. So I am going to go ahead and sh I'm taking off my shoes because for whatever reason, they're squeaking today. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and share them with you guys and maybe I'll do um, a try on on something at the end of the video. We'll see how long this video takes. But just a second, because I thought I had my glasses, let me go ahead and reach for them in case I need to um, share something with you, a price or something. Now, I don't know if this is normal for Talbots, if it's just because all of these items are final clearance, all right? So final sale, you cannot return them. So I don't know if that's normal that when they're a final sale that they don't give you the, um, the sales price on the receipt. So none of them gave me the sales price, although I think I can um, remember what I paid for them from memory, all right? so. Anyway, I will say welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, thank you for stopping by and spending a little bit of your Sunday with me. I appreciate it so very much. And for those of you who may be stopping by for the very first time, my name is Yvette. My channel is Polished After 60, and I go over items for the more mature lady. So I go over fashion and lookbooks. I talk a little bit about trends and makeup and chit chat, just a little bit of everything. So if you think you might be interested in that, if that sounds like something that you would um, find useful for you or beneficial, I would welcome you in as part of our community. I have a lovely group of ladies and a few men that are part of our group. And I think it is a lovely group of people that um, just come and spend a little bit of time with me. I enjoy it. Um, very much and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. So if you think you'd be interested, maybe um, you would consider subscribing. Um, it would mean the world to me, right? And ladies, please keep your comments coming. You know how much I love them, right? So on to the video today because we're already three minutes in and I haven't shown you the least thing yet. All right. So let me pop in my glasses. I'll probably be popping them on and popping them off. And I will say, ladies, when I find something at a good price, and I'm sure many of you ladies do the same, I will buy them in 
multiple colors, all right? So you are going to see multiple colors of the same items, but it's because I got them at a what I think is a wonderful price, all right? So I'm going to show you, first of all, a couple of blazers that I purchased. Let me lean, hold on. All right, so um, two blazers, same, the same piece in two different colors. I got this, I think they call it either a vivid pink or a vivid orchid, I'm not, I think it's vivid pink, right? And you know, ladies, that this color is really on trend for this um, coming autumn and winter. So think about different things that you might be able to pair a color like this, right? Um, this olive looks very pretty against it, right? So that might be something that um, you might not have thought of, right? Um, but anyway, I got this. This jacket or blazer was normally a hundred and sixty. Let me double check. It was normally a hundred and fifty nine dollars. I paid thirty six dollars for this blazer. All right. I think it's a great price. Um, I don't know if I've ever spoken to you guys about what is your uniform and item that you're comfortable with. Uh, when you leave the house, a specific um, uniform, if you will, or style that you use, right? And for me, many times, I will use either a blazer or a cardigan as my third piece to complete an outfit, all right? So for me, that is um, money well spent. Now, this jacket is the same jacket, although I think you can play with the collar because the collar is like this, all right, it comes up. But I think you can play around with it and make a proper lapel off like a regular jacket has. So think about that when, when something, when you think something is might not be a style that you're comfortable with, think about it because you might be able to change it up a little bit. But it's a lovely blazer, I tried them on. Ladies, another thing is don't, be a slave to a size, all right? Because honestly, I think that there should be some kind, some kind of law or some kind of regulation where if you're a size 10, you're a size 10 across the board, but we know that that's not correct. I am normally a size 10, but sometimes I have to go up to a size 12 or a size 14. I, I even have pants that are a size eight depending upon who the designer is, who the manufacturer is. So don't be a slave to a size. When you're ordering something online, like many of us are doing nowadays, because it's a little bit difficult to go out of the house, we still continue um, to have this uh, now Delta variant, which is causing a lot of stress. In many states here in Florida, it is not easy for me to get out. I choose not to go out if I don't have to. I am vaccinated. I have a small granddaughter who cannot be vaccinated. And heaven forbid, I would bring something home to her, right? That would cause an illness that we know um, we know we need to keep at bay, all right? So what I do when I shop for items is I read the reviews to see if the items are running small or running large, and I look at the measurements, right? And if I think something is going to be a little bit, even if it's just a smidge tight on me, i rather go up the to the next size up because we can always get something tailored down, right? It's a lot more difficult to um, make things a little bit bigger than they are. So just keep that in mind when you're um, ordering things, especially when there are final sales like this one is, all right? So let me stop talking. Um, another item that I purchased uh, is this pretty 
it's kind of like between an A-line and a pencil skirt, but it's a corduroy, corduroy fabric. Um, it's this pretty wine color, which um, is a lovely color for fall, right? And I thought, I thought that it would be perfect, all right? I think I paid, let me see what the original price is for this, guys. Um, the regular price was $79.50. It had already been reduced down and I got another 70% off. I think I paid $16 for this skirt. This is a well-made quality skirt, has a side zipper, very cute on. This is a style that would be lovely on almost anybody, all right? And I think it's a great piece um, for the upcoming fall if we get to go out. I don't know. Maybe these items are just going to sit in my closet. We'll see. But when you order classic pieces like this, guys, it's something that you can keep in your closet. And as long as you maintain your weight, you can wear them year after year. All right. Another skirt, uh, which I think is so cute. It is a, I guess it would be considered a summer skirt. You guys know that I live in Florida. Here, things are different for me, but um, again, another little A-line skirt, or a, I, I think it's more A-line than pencil, but the original price on this was $79, and again, I think I paid $16 for this, okay? And although the print um, is a little bit on the summery side, I think... As you all know, these orchids and pinks are very much on trend this year, right? I think I can, and this blue color as well is a color that we can wear year round. I think I can top this little skirt off with a sweater, even that little jacket, that, that blazer that I got. And um, I, I think I can wear it. I think I can wear it into the fall, right? So uh, keep in mind, if you're gonna get something that's patterned like this, um that you feel is a summer piece look and see if there are ways for you uh, to adapt that into the fall all right the next item i haven't even opened it it's a white slub um what do you call it white slub sweatshirt i think is what they call it it's a 69 dollar piece you see, so cute, white, and it has navy trim. We can wear white year round. I can see this with a pair of navy uh, leggings and maybe a little vest on top. Vests are also in, but um, I think I paid, I know I paid less than $20 for this, guys. So it's a nice quality piece that I can wear almost year round. In fact, I can't wear this in the summertime here in Florida because it's too warm. I can definitely wear it in the autumn and in the spring and I think in the winter as well, all right? Um, white jeans, we know we can wear year round and I can wear these white jeans with that little sweatshirt. Um, these, I always size up in white jeans and this is the Flawless high waist straight ankle jean. I got it in a size 12 petite. And what I liked about this guy is this little trim on the side seam. All right. Um, let's see if it tells me what the original price was. $95. All right. I think I paid $18 for these jeans. And we know that white jeans can be worn year round we just have to know how to accessorize it i can definitely wear a uh this looks like a dark navy almost black seam at the side i can absolutely wear this with a turtleneck sweater um and i'm good to go all right next item and i still have things coming but as i said it was such a great sale that i just purchased a lot of things. Okay, this is a cardigan. Um, I don't know that I can, let's see if it tells me what the name of it is. It does not. I think it was the Marled Knit Blazer. 
Um, it's kind of like, they call it indigo, but it's almost like a grayish color, all right? And then it has this cute navy and pink stripe, all right? It has, it, ha it also has that at the back of the cardigan, at the bottom of the cardigan. The cardigan has these cute zippers, all right? Um, we can zip it up and that gives us a nice, it's a long cardigan, so you're gonna get a long, lean look anyway, right? But if you unzip those uh, zippers, it'll even be nicer. And um, what I didn't notice in the details was that the sleeves are almost like a waffle knit. So it has a little bit of a mixed media, if you will. And the same thing with the little pockets in the front. This is adorable. I probably could have sized down on this, but again, you know, it's a sweater. We can wear them, you know, a little bit looser. And um, the original price on this was $119. I think this might have been one of the more expensive items, expensive if you will. I think I might have paid like $24, $25 for this item, right? So very cute. I can see wearing those with a pair of jeans, a pair of leggings or jeggings, and you have a cute outfit. And the last item that I have to open up with you guys is um, what they call the uh, military jacket. Again, this lavender color is very much on trend for this autumn, guys, all right? I can wear this in the spring. For me, this is not a piece that I would hardly ever wear in the summertime, all right? But I could absolutely wear it now when it gets a little bit cooler. The color is on trend. It depends on what color you pair it with so that it will look more autumnal. But I can wear this in the spring as well with that um, cute little skirt that I have, right? But it's a little field jacket. Look at how cute. It has little patch pockets at the breast and at the hip. Um, and a, the collar is more of a stand-up collar. Um, the price on this guy, regularly $139. I paid $30 for this little jacket, right? So if we do our homework, if you will. If we pay attention to the sizes on the items, the measurements, read the reviews, make sure that it's pieces that um, people that have ordered the item in the past are pleased with. Make sure that um, if it if you think it's a little bit too big for you, I, I would err on the size of being a little bit larger than on the size of being a little bit tighter right and like i say don't be a slave to your size guys because um different stores different brands different designers do use different fit models and the fit will be based on you know those um measurements all right so don't be afraid to go up a size um because you can always get it tailored all right, and if you get a great item, a great piece that's a quality piece that normally you would pay a higher price for, um, it's worth the, um, the expense of having it tailored to fit to you, right? All right, guys, so this is already 17 minutes long. It's a long video. I don't think I will do any try-ons, but that will be my next video that I put up. I think I'll put my Amazon haul on hold so that I can show you um, what kinds of looks I get using some of these items, or maybe I'll mix them up a little bit, right? So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I apologize that I did not post that sale for you guys until I think it might have even been the last day. It just didn't occur to me. So I apologize. But guys, um, be on the lookout for stores that you shop, that you do your shopping with, because they are all having end of season sales and you might be able to find really good deals on nice quality items. All right. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be seeing you real soon. Thanks for spending a little bit of your Sunday with me and I will be seeing you, okay? Have a nice rest of your week. Bye guys, bye. Oh my God, why does this always happen? Bye, gee whiz, bye. No, it's not gonna work. Holy cow, bye. All right, guys, I'm back. I just wanted to show um, the white club t-shirt or sweatshirt, they call it. Um, it has a cute detail on the side, like a little bit of a tulip hemline, and it has this uh, zigzag stitching along the neckline and into a v which is very attractive also at the sleeves and at the hem and um i'm not going to completely put it on because this would be a very long video but you see that i can i can put this on with this um cardigan and i think it would be a cute look so anyway i'll show you more um more looks to come. Bye guys. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Bye guys.